Yep, it's that time of week again. It's Friday. It's the Ladcast. My name's Sasha, and on today's episode, we have Nelson Pierre. He's a 15-year-old striker in the Philadelphia Union Academy, and he has a lot of potential. Anyways, let's get into the episode, check out the statistics, and yeah, let's go. You turn 16 in March, uh, which is a year in which the possibilities really open up in the footballing world. Right now, if you took a moment to reflect on where you are right now, how would you describe your development so far? For me, my development's been kind of crazy in a way, like looking at it from outside in. If somewhere else was in my shoes, I feel like kind of incredible the things that they've done. And like for me, I didn't even realize until like this year how much recognition I was really getting for my game. Like me, I was just going out and playing the game I love. I was just scoring, which made me so happy and then doing what I need to do. And then come this year, it's like there's national team call ups and all those things, which is just incredible. You've played with the uh, 16s, 19s. Um, you scored like 100 goals for the for the under 12s or something like that. A lot of goals. How do you yourself manage that being in the different age groups and around the different squads? Yeah, for sure. I think a big thing for me was confidence. Um, mm-hmm. Playing up with such good players at a young age was definitely something I need to adjust to, but quickly because at that age, the size wasn't there. Like I was playing against people that were just as big as me, but I always had the speed. So I had to really rely on my strengths and think, okay, how can I make an impact on the game with what I have? So just trying to create as much space and then trying to get my shot off as quick as possible is something that I really had to stress. What's your outlook on the future and what do you hope to achieve on the field? The highest goal for me would definitely be to play in Europe for a big club in Europe. Coming through the academy and all that stuff, I would love to play for the second team and then go to the first team. With all the things that the union has done for me, I feel like that's something that I need to give back to them. Mm-hmm. With all the time and effort that they put into me, all the coaching and all the talks, just to represent them and like be like at my debut in front of my family would be something really special to me. How have you experienced the competitive academy scene in your career? Uh, for me, it's always been challenging. No matter what age group I've played at, the union, if I, they saw I was excelling, say at U14, they put me up to U15 and then see what I can do there. But I've never seen it being easy. The unions always put me in challenging positions to try and get the best out of me as a player and a person. So I've seen it as something that can only make me better as a person and a player. You're playing in these, it's mostly like GA Cup and such like these, where it's basically a bunch of, um, I believe, like, you know, academy teams coming together. How can that be improved potentially? To have those competitions with MLS clubs is very good to see who you're competing against in your country. But Mm -hmm. something that I'd like to see personally is... Mm -hmm say playing abroad and not like playing abroad, but going abroad and playing other tournaments against other teams. Because last year with the seven teams, we went to Brazil and then we really were able to see the difference in quality between us and the Brazilian players, for instance. And it was just really eye opening and really allowed us to see like the difference between American, like the way Americans play soccer and the culture in that aspect. And then how Brazilians play soccer and their culture with it. What personally could you notice and maybe that you try to implement more in your game after that? For me, when I saw the biggest thing was the desire for them to win. Like mm. they were on the field, it was everything. As soon as they came on the field, it was loud, aggressive. It was like if they went, didn't win the game, there was no point in even playing. So for me, I just tried to add that into my game this year, like that desire to just give every single little bit of effort to just get the ball to score and to win games. What about the culture of the game? Yeah, looking back at it, yeah. We were in a stadium and it was completely packed. Mm -hmm. And then after the game, there was kids coming to us asking for our jerseys and stuff. And it was just like, wow, these people are like, really look up to us and think, wow, these people are like, these people can be something. And then like looking at us now, it's like, you know, we're playing in front of our parents. It's still cool, but it's not the same atmosphere. How has the Union uh, Academy helped to facilitate your growth? For me, they've given me time because this year they didn't. I was in the gap where I could play for Union 2, but at the same time, I could play 17s again. So I think with me staying 17s this year has really helped me get a bigger aspect on the game instead of just scoring goals all the time, being a complete footballer, which I, at the beginning was quite frustrating. But now looking at it, I'm really happy that they put me in this position. What else um, separates the union from other academies and clubs? For me, the, the opportunity to actually play with the first team, like say with other clubs that go out and buy players, invest millions of dollars in overseas players, the union really gives us academy players the ability to go out and sign a first team contract and put on display our abilities and what we can give. I tried with the second team and it was quite a big gap. I was actually playing against Brandon and oh, cool. like, see the difference in his game from last year to this year uh, like his the way he played the ball his the his quickness of play 
the way his communication, everything was just heightened. And the players around me were just incredible. Like I could pass them on the ball and they could just take someone on and beat them like nothing. And then when I was, when I asked for the ball, it comes straight to my foot perfectly on time. So it was, it was just crazy to see the level that I'm at and then the level I need to get to, to really be a professional soccer player. Do you have any crazy stories, whether it's a Jersey swap conversation with Andre Blake or something else in the game? I mean, I went to school with like Brandon Paxton, Delamere. I've gone to school with these since they, we all go to school together. So it's more of like, I kind of know these guys as brothers. So when it's in school, it's like, you're really free to be yourself and just being with them, seeing what it's like them being a first team, being still being the same person that they were. It's incredible just to keep that humility and be grounded. What's your favorite memory in football so far? Montreal last year. 2019, we drove six hours and we got to Montreal and the hotel was, let's just say, not the best. So we got like six hours of sleep and then we played the next day and then we were winning 2-0 and then they come back to tie the game 2-2 and then I was on the bench and then I came off the bench and I wasn't particularly happy to be on the bench, but I was like, okay. And then my dad always has this quote, it's what you do on the field, not if you start. So I just had this mentality of just go like score if you score, but just give it your all. And then I think in the 89th minute of the game, I get the ball from like 30 yards, beat a player, shoot it. And then it went in. And then that one was the first goal of my U17 career that year. And it was just an amazing feeling to be the youngster and having my first chance and then scoring. If you were to create a front three with yourself included, who are you going with? Anyone past or present? I'll put me at nine, Mm -hmm. Messi at right wing. I'll say R9 as my left winger. I think that team would score a lot of goals. Just, yeah. You know, outside of the sport, what are some interests of yours? Maybe be FIFA or be caught or be a fashion icon. What's something that you enjoy? Since a young age, me and my father have loved movies. So mm. I'm like a movie fanatic. Whenever mm. I get the chance to watch a movie or something of that nature, watch a TV show, why not? Watching TV is definitely something that helps me relax. And it's nice to spend time with my parents. You know, one day... I may see you and Brandon at the 2026 World Cup. How about that? Hopefully, that'd be an amazing dream come true. I think so. Yeah, definitely. For for everyone in U.S. soccer, including the podcast, right? Anyways, thanks for coming on and um, I wish you best of luck. All right, thank you. Thank you and later. See you. Thank you.